Thai John Ashton with Relish Magazine. Well, we're talking five ingredients, a midweek meal with some fun. We're going to be taking a trip to Asia today. Seared salmon with roasted cauliflower and a honey and wasabi sauce. It's so simple. First thing we're going to do is grab some cauliflower. Cauliflower is so overlooked. My granny used to boil it to death. We're going to roast this. I can't wait to tell you more about that. We're going to pop that in the trolley and we're going to head over and grab some salmon. When it comes to salmon, we have two choices, wild or freshly farmed. It depends on the price, really. If wild is within $4 of the farmed, I'll go with that. Good source of omega-3. American Heart Association says we should try to have fatty fishes at least three times a week. All we've got to get now, soy sauce, wasabi, and some honey, and we've got ourselves a dish. There are two types of soy sauce on the market. We have the regular and then reduced sodium soy sauce, which is quite often called light soy sauce. I prefer the reduced sodium. Any times we can reduce sodium in our diet, it's much better. So we're gonna use that in there. Remember, soy sauce is high in unamami, which is our fifth taste bud. We're also gonna be using some wasabi powder. I know a biggest thing in the industry is that a lot of people think that this is true wasabi. However, it's not. This is a Chinese horseradish powder that's mixed with food green coloring. True wasabi, there are only four places that grow it in the United States. It's terribly expensive but we've all become familiar with this and I love it. It's simple to prepare and we'll talk more about that in a minute. The only thing left to get now is honey. This dish is in the making and I cannot wait because I am terribly excited. Let's grab some honey. When buying honey, I always try to buy local honey. I think it's important. You know, I've read in some books that it says that if you have allergies, if you can get some honey within five miles radius of your home, that it can help with allergies. We see here some local honey, fantastic. Okay, we've got our five ingredients. Let's go and review how we're gonna make this simple Asian supper. We've got our five ingredients. How are we gonna make this? It's so, so simple. First thing I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna get my cauliflower. I'm gonna break it down to florets, come from underneath with the knife, come across the top, make these lovely florets. I'm gonna get a saute pan on, a little bit of olive oil in there, throw the cauliflower in there, salt, pepper. I'm gonna brown it slightly on the stove, just for about two or three minutes, getting a little bit of color in the oven at 375. It's gonna be in there. I'm gonna let that cook for about 10 minutes. Don't let it dry out too much. The next Next thing I'm going to do is take my salmon, I'm going to dry it on some kitchen towel, really important to dry it guys, salt, pepper, get another saute pan on, get it nice and hot, add some olive oil in there, skin side down, let that crisp up for about three minutes, turn it over for about another two minutes, don't overcook your salmon, too many people overcook the salmon, when that comes off the stove we've got our cauliflower pureed a cauliflower. You can puree it in your kitchen blender, in your processor, or you could simply mash it like granny used to mash the potatoes. So the salmon comes out of the pan. What we want to do then now is about two tablespoons of soy sauce and about a quarter of a cup of honey in that pan. You got all them flavors from the salmon in there. So now you've got the salmon, honey, and soy sauce. Give that a mix and just bring it up a little bit. You don't want to overcook it. You just want to bring it up to a nice flavor, nice little boil for it. You've mashed your cauliflower off there. All you want to do with the wasabi is take about two tablespoons of wasabi and just a little bit of water in there just to make this nice little drizzle. When it comes to plating up, take a couple of tablespoons in the center of the plate of the cauliflower puree, add your nice little piece of seared salmon on there, a drizzle of the honey soy sauce and a little drizzle of your wasabi sauce as well. You've got yourself a quick, easy and simple supper. This is going to be so good. It's going to wah, wah, your taste buds. Please go along to relishmag.com for this recipe.